Hi, I'm Tom Dick. I'm a mathematics professor and a math advisor for Texas Instruments. This short video is part of the TI in Focus AP Calculus series. Here we're going to take a look at how you can check your solutions to differential equations using the differential equation plotter of the TI Inspire. Let's get started. We're going to use as an example the differential equation that appeared in the 2019 a, B, and B, C free response question number four. This problem involved a barrel of rainwater, and the height of the water in the barrel satisfied the differential equation dH dt equals negative one tenth square root of H, where H was the level of water in the barrel. The initial condition was the height or level was five at time t equals zero. Now this was on the non-calculator part of the exam, so it was certainly intended to be solved by separation of variables. Now if you have a TI Inspire with a CAS or computer algebra system, you could certainly check your answer by using the DE solve command. Notice the syntax here. We are basically able to enter the differential equation exactly as we saw it in the problem, along with the initial condition, the and h of 0 equals 5. Identify your independent variable t and your dependent variable h, and it'll give you a solution. Now this solution was in terms of the square root of h, but we can easily square both sides to get the final solution to this problem. Now what we'd like to do in this video is show you how you could check your solution with just the numerical capabilities of a TI Inspire. To do that, we're going to do a graph that's a little different type. That's the differential equation graph type. So I've gone to graph entry and selected that. And notice the format here. We have a dedicated dependent variable y1 prime and we need to enter the differential equation that it satisfies. Now in this case it was negative one-tenth and we're using y1 in place of h. So instead of the square root of h, I'll need to enter the square root of y1, referring back to the name we, we are giving to the dependent variable. Now once that's entered, we also have an opportunity to enter an initial condition. Now here our independent variable is x, so we're using that in place of t. So I'll put in 0 for x sub naught and 5 for y1 sub naught. That's our initial condition. And now let me set up the window for this situation so it's uh, more suitable for the physical situation we had in the problem. Uh, X min is the time minimum. The zero is fine on that. I'm going to set it X max to 30. We'll set our increments on our scale to 5. And for our Y scale, let's just use uh, negative 10 and 10. So I'll set Y min to negative 10 and I'll set Y max to positive 10 and I'll also use a scaling of 5. Okay, I think we're set to go there. So we'll press OK. And let's see what we get. I'll hit Enter. And here comes the slope field along with the solution curve that the TI Inspire generated numerically. Okay, so it's labeled at Y1. And the, the subscript 1 on there is because of the specific initial condition that we had. Now I'd like to have a little bit finer uh, slope field. So I'm going to edit the parameters. And uh, you'll see the numerical solution method that was used here is something called Runge-Kutta. Now I'm going to go down to the bottom of these parameters where we see plot start, plot end, plot step. And finally there's the field resolution. It's default's 14. I've doubled that to 28. That gives us a much finer slope field. Now supposing that I had solved this differential equation by hand and I wanted to check to see if my solution was reasonable, I could compare it to this numerically generated solution curve. So I'm going to set the graph type back to function, the usual one, and I'm going to go ahead and enter the solution actually that we would have gotten by hand. Uh, it's also the one that the DE solve gave to us. And that was the square root of 5 minus x over 20, quantity squared. And notice that that is plotted just directly over the numerically generated solution curve. 
It's giving us at least some strong visual evidence that our solution makes sense. Well, that ends this short video. For more resources like these, please see education.ti.com.